Today's lesson is lesson 115, part one, multiplying by two facts. So today you will learn how to multiply by two. So here I have four groups of two pennies. Okay, so you can see each of these groups has two pennies of it in them and I have four of them. So normally I would do two plus two plus two plus two. So I have a total of eight pennies. Now there's a shorter way of writing four groups of two, and that is four times two. The, this is called a multiplication symbol, and it is used to, to say groups of. Okay? So you would say four times two equals eight. Okay? So here I have seven groups of two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so I would say seven times two. In this case, it happens to equal 14. Okay. So here we have the multiplying by two facts that we're going to go over them. So how many groups of penny, or so how many pennies are there in one group of two pennies? Well, that means there's two pennies. If I don't have any groups of pennies, then I would have zero pennies. Okay. Two groups of two pennies would be four pennies. Three times two is six. Four times two is eight. Five times two is 10. Six times two is 12. Seven times two is 14. 8 times 2 is 16, and 9 times 2 is 18. So if we were to count, it would be 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. We can also write multiplication problems like this. So if we do, when we read the problems, the first one would be two groups of 0, pennies would be zero. Okay. Two groups of one or one group of two would be two pennies. Two times two is four. Two times three is six. Two times four is eight. Five, two times five is ten. Two times six is twelve. Two times seven is fourteen. 2 times 8 is 16, 2 times 9 is 18. The numbers we multiply are called factors. That would be these two numbers. Those are called factors. So if I have 5 times 2, that's asking for 5 groups of 2 pennies, which is what I've shown here. And I can see that I have a total of 10 pennies. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. Good luck on your homework.